Hi, this is Mike, and I'm going to do a wireframing session for a side project. I have a site called Koniji, it's an interface design site, and I want to just uh, start to revive it, think about which parts to focus on. So let's uh, do it in wireframes first, and then I'll do it in the real thing. So this is the site in the static form. Um, I just uh, moved it from, um, you know, I made close to 10 years, it was in, in Drupal. And then um, I moved it over to Hugo, which is a static site builder. So now it's just got, um, you know, a, everything in this uh, several sections. In the past, it was, um, you know, I did a lot of work on deconstructing um, interfaces, just sort of talking about design solutions and why they were effective on things that I was using or seeing in the in the world. Uh, and then there was a uh, capturing a lot of um, uh, mostly website design stuff and just talking about why you know things that I liked about those designs. There were a couple of other sections. There's this tool section where I put a lot of the stencils and templates that I made up. And then there's this wiki section which was a wiki at one point and then it just became just sort of this repository for these definitions of UI design topics and um, you know some of my presentations and uh, longer articles were here and you know there are just some of these useful lists like you know conferences so anyway um, I wanted to start this over and um, I'm gonna be moving all of this stuff from Hugo back into um, to WordPress um, I, what I'm gonna do is just sort of start from a wireframe so that I could figure out um, how to lay the the new version out in WordPress and um, you know just like thinking about the IA of the site is how I'm gonna reorganize it I have so I'm still gonna do this sort this kind of this thing with um, you know I'm gonna have um, a blog or some kind of um, links right um, I'm gonna just call them. These are posts. I'm just gonna call them posts, but they're they can be, you know, they can be articles. They could be, um, you know, the tools that I make. They can be um, what else? Links, tools I make, links to. Um, links to resources, that sort of thing. And then I'm gonna have this section, uh, well, I'm not gonna call these articles, I'm gonna call these um, blog posts. They're just, you know, they're, they're kind of articles, some of them, but they're just called, I'll call them blog posts. And then there's gonna be the section of this, I'm gonna call this UI reference section, the old wiki of, you know, it's like a glossary of terms. So this is a glossary, and then um, and then there's like the conference list, and then the um, job search listing, and, and those kinds of things. I'm gonna put those there. Um, and then I had this, um, okay, so I think that's, what else did I have? I could separate this posts thing, but I think I'm just gonna use category or tags or something to to organize that and then of course I'm gonna have search and about the site and then um, yeah I'm gonna start from there so I'm gonna have posts with these some sort of navigation to filter um, these a little bit um, and then UI reference and then search so if I let's call this sitemap Okay, so I'm going to make a start a wireframe to just lay this out, and um, you know, I'm just going to start from doing a desktop uh, web site, and then um, let's see, command two to lock that one, and then I'm going to put. Um, so this is going to be. The site name. Um, 
use the command right angle bracket to make that bigger. I just want to do my global navigation in the top here. And then maybe I'll, what I do is, this is kind of how I want to create it. The, you know, the content type is a post, but um, I feel like I want to have a separation of links to resources versus, you know, whatever this is, blog. And it's, I think I want the sort of the order of things to reflect this. Um, so that UI reference is the main thing that you would see. Links is just, it's a link drop of links to other resources and real short descriptions of what they are. Blog is where if I occasionally do write a long post, I'll put it there. I'll do it that way for now. So this is going to be um, links. Um, all right, so that's my navigation. Um, for now. So I'd like, what I'd like to do is to keep my blog, uh, posts, you know, I, I don't want to have just this really long stream of posts on the front on the front page, I just because I, I don't think I'm going to be writing that much. I want to just have, um, you know, a featured post. Maybe I should do this sort of map out these zones here. There's this section, which is feature, featured post. This section is where <clears throat> I'm going to make this left section, the left column, um, I'm going to just put this UI reference here. So I think I'm, I just want to have a list of all of the content in this section right here. Um, so the featured post, I want to go in this hero in like a two thirds part of, of the hero. And then I want to have this other um, second feature. Occasionally I'll do something new. So I want to put a little block here that has that, you know, a shortcut to that. Um, and then on this, I want to do like the same kind of two thirds, one third layout here where this other section might be this links area. I'm going to hold R. I'm going to draw this out as a column. So there's my feature. And then here's my um, other feature, right? And then, so if I have text here, there's a headline, there might be some, you know, some text to go with it and a link. And then here, this is the, this is the main feature, a box just so I know what I what I want to put in here. Um, so I could turn this into just a image placeholder. Right, so this is my feature. And then here, I want to have this UI reference section. So I want to do just sort of a list here. So maybe I'll just actually make this with real text. So. If I call this UI reference here. So what I'm thinking is that I will just do a list of topics. So maybe there's an icon, maybe not. And then each topic will have, um, you know, topic label and then I'll just 
I'll just use the creaking here. So I'll just do that. So like a sentence description. Um, so something like that. Okay, so I can do something like this. Command three unlocks the rectangle. Command two locks it back up. So I'm just laying this out and then, I don't know, maybe this would be um, a little link list, a link bar to filter. So, it could, you know, I could have um, um, A to Z and maybe last updated. newest last modified something like that and then um yeah if, if the list isn't too long this is this wouldn't be bad maybe i could even just make this um not have the graphic to shorten it or i could have a toggle between you know two different ways of viewing that but that's good enough for now um and then um let's see so then i want to have this section here Let's make this smaller. I want to have this section here be links. And then, you know, I want to just do a similar listing, but maybe um, even more terse description, smaller graphic, or no graphic even, but just maybe just it's the fave icon or something. Um, yeah, so like that, and this is going to be a, um, you know, this one third, uh, ungroup this real quick. Um, group it. Okay, so now I can make my list. And, you know, I don't want this to go too far. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, that's all I want to do on the homepage, I think, to start, um, you know, and then there's going to be a footer. So, yeah, so this is the, this is how I think I want to do it um, to start. And then um, I want to, let's see, let's take this header, make it a thing. And take this footer, make it another group. Um, and then, all right, I'm gonna just copy, make this a group. Header and footer was a group. Oh, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna unlock the container. All right, so I got the container, footer, header, all selected, right? And then now that's gonna be my, um, So I'm going to do this other screen. So if we are looking at one of these um, UI reference uh, topics, what would that look like? And, um, you know, I think it's, I like the idea of having just sort of a, a narrow, um, here, let's actually lock this. I'm going to just, um, Put a you know a header a, a title at the top. Oh, and didn't lock it. So command two locks it. I'm gonna put this t a title at the top and then um, you know some metadata below that, and then maybe tags even below that. I don't know. Do I need tags? I don't know if I need tags. I'm gonna not do tags. And then let's see. I'm gonna copy this. HR I have this very narrow column but I could do a wider header so that the layout of the main page is, is can take up more space here make use of the space and then have you know the, this the content of the articles be a bit narrower so you know if you're on a huge screen like this you know it's readable 
So um, I'm gonna stick to that idea. Just kind of, you know, it's it's common, expected these days. And then I could have, um, you know, graphics here. Um, and what else could I have? Um, more text. So this would be the this would be the post layout. And then, um, you know, if I have if I have like discuss or something at the bottom, like comments, then I would have you know comment field. This is your avatar. This is an input. And then there's some kind of header thing above. I'm just using this T thing to make, that's the T, which is a shortcut for quick drawing text. That's what I used up here to make this little block text thing. Yeah, what else do I want to do? So I find if this is a UI reference section, so I don't know, I'm going to just make it for this demo. I'm just going to make it blue. So that's just, um, so I just updated the instance of this text and the symbol so that um, it shows the selected section. Um, yeah, so this is good for now. I just wanted to get down some idea for what I wanted to lay out. Um, oh, this should have, so there should be a way to get to more here. Um, all more. Um, Sorry, I'm just catching things as I'm still doing this. Um, and then this is linked to the post. There should be a link here to that article. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a link or a, just a read more. Maybe it's just like a read more link here. Or something else, button, I don't know. We'll, I'll figure that out later. Um, Yeah, this is enough, I think, for me to just start to laying it to start laying out these elements and then put it into my theme. If I wanted to go and do the uh, the mobile um, layout, so I could just do um, you know what I expect this to look like. Um, on a small screen. Um, yes, yeah, so I would take the, well, I would probably just do a um, smaller version of the header. So let's see, we may as well do that now. I'm gonna break this apart. Um, I'm gonna ungroup all this stuff and then let me move. I would probably just do uh, the menu more simply, like uh, like that's just the. Well, I could even do it even. Could do the centered actually, and then just do um, hamburger menu here that expands below. Um, lock this okay so if I'm gonna take the pieces of this layout what I think I would do is um, let's see let's look at this I got the hero and I got the feature and I would probably do something like this to stack these two uh, like that, and then um, put the UI reference stuff beneath it, and then I would pro possibly 
you know, truncate or do something to uh, make the text fit and, you know, maybe make the graphic smaller. So let's see. For now, I'm just going to do smaller text there. Um, I'm going to put, a, I'm gonna put a, a background in here. Oops, I was not holding the R key. Put a background in here. I'm going to move these to the back. Okay, just so I can see where the the viewport ends. Yeah. So there's my articles and then I don't know this it's, it's going to be kind of long so I don't know if I'm going to want to fit all this stuff in in the same way. Um I could you know, decide to uh, simplify the layout and make these things a little bit tighter so that it's, um, I mean, I'm not, I don't have a problem with it being, taking up a lot of space and just making you scroll. So, um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with just having all, this all be stacked to fit like this, but I might, you know, I might improve it actually. Um, when I think about it, but this is the, I think this would be the main idea for me. It would just be to, um, at the smallest resolution to create a breakpoint layout, uh, a layout for that breakpoint. Um, I might do something just as simple as this for the mobile view of the home page. This is the home page here, desktop, um, and then this is the this is the mobile view and this is the article view. So this is where I'm going to start from, I think. I'm going to work on uh, laying out the home page and the theme, getting all these things to, to, you know, to populate from different sections or categories, and then, um, you know, make sure that the layout works. Um, when you're on a narrower screen. Um, all these guys, I'll clean this up in the real thing. Um, yeah, and then I'll do the article this way. So I think that should do it for this session. So um, I'm gonna stop there and, um, and go work on the real thing. And then hopefully uh, this site will be back to life. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye.